bigs or so. So now Igor and Russell. Russell now has pressure on him because Igor is catching up to him, and they're both very short right now. So it's a fight between Russell and Igor, and uh, you're going to see Ari probably open the hands that he normally would open on the button as early as the hijack because the two players to his left are so short. Right. Min makes a race. King Queen offsuit. And here's Johnny. Johnny He's Jack. He could definitely three bet here. It's a little uh, questionable as a flat with this specific hand. Right? Like, you're one of those middle stacks. You want to be careful. I think fold is totally fine here. Fold probably is actually the best option. Three bet, maybe close to it. Close to three bet. And he does three bet, so Johnny good job. Johnny decides to three bet. All in. Oh, and we have an all in now. And a snap all in from Ari in the big blind with ace king of diamonds. And it's for 2.5 million. And now uh, this is interesting because if Min were to call, Johnny can reopen the yeah, betting here. For two million. So it was six hundred to one point three. So uh, as long as the raise is at least two point two here, then Min uh, is in danger of Johnny shoving on her. Uh, yeah, I think she's worried about that right now. So I, I think that Min has to fold here with this hand. And you expect Johnny to call. Expecting Johnny to call. Yeah, for obviously one, Johnny's going to call. Johnny's going to yeah. call. But. I mean, it's a little weird if Min calls here. Uh, it only works if she just hopes that Johnny has the understanding that they're going to both try to knock out a player. It's kind of like implied collusion you get at these tournament final tables. Exactly. She's hoping for that exact situation. Call. She does make the call. But, you know, if you're Johnny here, you could definitely just shove and get a better price for your your all-in against Igor, but the problem is you don't really gain anything out of that um, other than dead money in the pot. And you also risk going out ninth place. So he is just going right. to call. Johnny's just going to flat. Call the raise. I'm surprised that Min called. A little bit surprised just because the the betting is still open, and Johnny is not very deep. But she's going to try to knock out two players. Yeah, Min's trying to think exactly like you were saying. We can get one player gone. And uh, top pair for Igor, top pair for Johnny. Johnny with the backdoor flush draw. Min with a gutter. Igor's got to like that flop, especially if it goes check-check. Yeah, you expect a check-check? Yeah. Turns a seven. Changes nothing. So Min needs a jack. She's going to check. Johnny checks. Johnny's drawing to a chop here. And Rivers is six. We expecting a bet from Johnny? Yeah, I mean, there's no side pot, but at this point, you know you have the best hand. Right. See Min keep faking looking at her chips. Yeah. Could be an interesting tell when she's weak. Usually when players look at their chips like that, they're usually ready to bet. That's that's what we usually think, and Min is a little confused. Be an interesting bet. Is that a bet? Min makes a bet. This is weird. I don't know why she would do this. There's no side pot. There's no side pot. Why try to bluff with King Johnny Hunt. to let Igor survive? It makes no sense. You should be playing your hand straight forward right now in this spot. That's the whole reason why she called to right, play straight to get forward. to the river and. 
Like She's I don't there. I don't understand what this accomplishes. Very confusing. And then she's going to show her hand. And he, Johnny's just super confused. He's like, what's Johnny going on Johnny can't here? believe it. What did you do? I mean... The table can't believe it. It wouldn't have changed anything. Like, if she bets small, Johnny could call. If she checks, Johnny bets, she's going to fold. Uh, table's going to be really confused. This is a spot where Ari's definitely going to open. He's going to open all his suited one gappers like this. Eight ten suited, great hand to open. Doesn't matter what position, he's got over two hundred big, or sorry, over one hundred big blinds. It's fun in tournaments when you have over hundred bigs, oh, it's right? Oh, so fun, so much fun when you're big stack. When you won your bracelet, were you one of the big stacks the whole way? I at was the final table? constantly low stack. I really? Was Eleven out of twelve, nine out of nine. I was sixteen to one behind. Wow, was that a lot of big stress? Stack, a lot of stress, constant stress. How bad did you want that? So bad. So bad. Brandon with Queen 10, the big blind, should be defending here. Uh, although he, uh, it's interesting, he only has 20 bigs. I wouldn't be shocked if he folded. All right, he's gonna call. He makes the call. Middle pair here for Brandon. Ari with some back doors. Uh, I expect Ari to see bet here because he has back doors and because it hits his range. Most of the time, he see betting. Very will see betting. Like Brandon has to fold a lot of under pairs, a lot of ace highs. So he's gonna bet small, 500k. He's in position, try to realize his backdoor equity. Brandon going nowhere here with middle pair. Expect Ari to continue. It is a good card to rep. Ace of diamonds on the turn. One million one hundred fifty thousand is the bet. Yeah, this is just an impossible spot for Brandon. There's no way he calls here. I, would, I mean, I would, I would be surprised if he calls here. Yeah, I would be surprised. I, I think it's a fold for Brandon. But he knows that Ari's going to put pressure on him. The problem is Ari's going to have it sometimes. Brandon in deep thought. Tanking it up. I think he knows he's got a fold. Just is a little stubborn about it. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I think he just gave up. I feel like you're blocking me. Yeah, once he starts talking, it's all done. If he was going to continue, he wouldn't have said a word. <laughs> you don't see it where too often where he goes, I think you're bluffing here, I'm all in. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, <laughs> it's tough It's tough to do that. Only the best of the best. That'd be a great speech, though. I think you're bluffing here, so I'm going to go all in. 
No, they're all in there. They're all yeah. there. Yeah. I think you just, just put out an extra, extra 25 yeah. minutes. Or is it from no, 9 from know, last 10? Put two. Put two. Yeah, yeah. Which is which, though? That's the key. They all look the same. All those Andes resembling each other. Pocket aces for David. Favorite poker hand right there. Yeah? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, number one favorite. There's only one hand I like even more. Oh, sorry. Is great. <coughs> um, six so 50. pretty. So we're 250k big blind here. Uh, open a 650 from David. And Johnny with a nice looking hand in the big blind. Queen 10 suited. A good hand to defend with. He is shallow though. He only has... Raise wow. Less than 20 bigs, and he's going to go all in and a snap call and a brutal spot for Johnny. He runs the Queen 10 suited into aces, 4.1 sure million chips, ball. about 16 or 17 big blinds. And uh, when you have aces and someone shoves on you, you you'd love, love to hear it. that. <laughs> so Johnny at risk of going out in ninth place here. And he does hit a 10. He needs a 10 or a queen to double up. And now just a 10 would do it. And Johnny's going to go out in ninth place. Congratulations to Johnny. $25,000 he cashes for. And we are now down to eight players. And then in seat seven is the second shortest stack. And Danny with 19 million in seat nine is third in chips. Igor with ace queen here under the gun. Similar situation, again, pretty much the same situation as last time. Russell with 13 picks back, and he's going to defend with 6-8 of clubs. Out of position against Igor, and he has an open ender, top yeah, what pair. What a flop, what a flop. And this is a spot where Russell might just open jam here. Nope, he's going to check. It's the same thing as last time. We could see a check jam from Russell here. Yeah, Igor's not slow playing at all. This is like the exact same situation as last hand, uh, except uh, Russell has a draw. Russell Igor got has he it wanted for defending. Yep, and just a call from Russell. Now he only has ten bigs behind. Jack of clubs on the turn gives Russell a flush draw to go along with a straight draw. Not a lot of room for maneuvering here for Russell. Russell's and gonna jam. Yep, there he goes. And this is for more than half of Igor's stack. And Russell has eight high, but he does have 32% equity. He's going to win this hand one out of three times. Three million and 50. <laughs> Call from Igor. He is ahead. Nine million chips in this pot. And a brick on the river, and Russell is eliminated in eighth place. Congratulations to Russell. Igor chips up. He came into Igor's the table. Igor's chipping up. There. He has more bracelets than you do. He does. He and he's a million. lot younger than me. Yeah. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 49. 49, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have how many kids? I have three kids. Three kids? Three wow. kids, yeah. Awesome. How old are they? 27, 26, and 10. Wow. Hi, guys. They're probably watching right now. 27 and 26. Wow. Do they play poker at all? Yeah, my son is actually right now in the 4 p.m. tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I know. He plays. Wow. 27. Wow. I'm good him in here. Yeah. I'm That's awesome. Older. I'm a little older, right? That's sick. I didn't know you were. I just pretend to be young with yeah, these young guys. Yeah, exactly. With these I, young I didn't guys. know you were up there like that. <laughs> 
That's awesome, though. Good for you. So you work for a long time? And then yeah, I still work for a long time, and then I decided 17 was going to be my year to YOLO. To YOLO. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, hey, look, we're only getting older, and if you don't try something you really want to do, right, like eventually right, it's going to be too late. Right, it's been our passion, my passion, a lot of, you know, passions, and I decided it was the time and got into Vegas and won my first tournament I entered this summer That's in a, Vegas. That uh, was the first one you played? No, no, no. Oh, uh, oh. I actually won a daily deep stack at the World Series, the first one I entered. Uh, you won a tournament at the Rio, daily deep stack? Yeah, yeah, the first day I got there. What? I hadn't, hadn't even so checked in my How much was that? Room. A little over 20. So you won that. You went deep into other ones and Three then you won ones, a bracelet? Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had like nine, ten good summer. caches for the summer. Yeah, a month it. after you decided to become a full-time player, <laughs> it worked for me. It doesn't usually work that it's easy, not guys. Normal. <laughs> it does not usually work that easy. Wow. So what I had a good bankroll right to start the first is, day I got there. That is an amazing summer. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. That's Thank you. insane. You must be doing something right. Yeah, we call it old man style. <laughs> wow. Uh, we got a raise here from Ari and a three bet and a small blind from Min, and the two chip leaders are going heads up here. Uh, a pair for Min and a pair and a flush draw for Ari. I like Ari's chances here. We may see a huge pot here. You know, I know Ari has been careful so far against Min. Uh, we're yet to see how Min is willing to play against Ari. We know Ari's not folding. And I don't think he's going to raise too often here because Min has aces in a range more, even tens in a range more, and uh, she has all the ace-x hands that aren't going to fold. Ace comes in the turn. Min with the best hands still, but that could slow the action. You know, in this spot, Ari doesn't expect to get a fold from an ace or kings or queens or even jacks. He's going to be trapped sometimes here. I think Ari's going to Probably check a back check a lot. Probably a check from Ari. Yeah. Ari's checking back a lot of the time right here. But, oh, no, all right. We are wrong. That's Doesn't why he, seem to he's the best. We are not. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Min is going to make a quick call. And her hand looks like kings, queens in the spot, I think. Yeah, it does, and that was a quick call by men. Brick in the river, check, check, most likely, unless Ari turns his 10 into a bluff to get a hand like kings or queens to fold. He does check, and Min is going to win this one with king 10. Ari bricks his combo draw, and uh, they can discuss a break, but they do not have access to their phone at the table. It's like a really good pressure break, too. Got my money's worth there. Tony Briones said, Adrian Moreno is a top-notch player. Do you know Tony Briones? Tony Briones. I do know Tony Briones. Thanks, Tony. There you go. Started playing poker with him years ago. Nice. Oh, you didn't see it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. I just want to make sure for myself. Jimmy Bluffett, who wins the final four? I'm going with Nova. Oh, wow. Uh, no surprise there, but I'm going with Nova. Sweet. Nova's the pick. Yeah, it's going to be fun, though. I think that anybody could win it. I like Michigan's chances, too. Michigan. Uh, I think Michigan could beat Nova or Kansas. Uh, I like their chances. They're as hot as anybody right now. We got a hand here. David opening with pocket sixes. Brandon with ace, king of clubs on the button. Brandon, three bets. Ace King suited. Here we go. And David with sixes could go any of three ways here. Wow. And he's going to go all in. A four bet jam with pocket sixes for David. Brandon snaps. He's got Ace King suited. We have a flip. David's a slight favorite. Huge pot. 24 million. Chips in the pot, and this is a huge equity spot for both players.
Brandon has him slightly covered, it looks like, but we'll have to count down the chips. And a low run out is not good news for Brandon and a huge flip for David. 24 million. We're going to count down the stacks and see. Brandon might have one blind left. Big shove from David. Pocket sixes. Wow, that is a ballsy four bet yeah, shove from David. Shove. Brandon snaps him off and David holds. Unlucky for Brandon to get in that spot and get four bet and, and lose that pot. A huge equity spot for him. Looks like he's going to likely be our uh, seventh place finisher here for $42,000. It's a five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eleven six point Was it 825 or 725? Oh, it's 7. Okay, sorry. sorry. Five spades. Pat with ace four suited. And he's going to fold under the gun, continuing his tightness. It's tight play today. Daddy with 10 jack off in the cutoff is going to open. And Ari with pocket jacks on the button. I can expect a three bet here. 100% of the time for Ari. He's three betty. Yeah, he's going to be comfortable getting it in here. Danny has about 26 big blinds, 20, 28 big blinds. All I'll do is hold it. Especially cut off first button, knowing that Ari's an aggressive player. Danny's probably going to four bet jam a decent range here, uh, but he is dominated in this spot, and he's probably going to have to just fold. Oh, and an all in from Danny. He's going to take a stand in the wrong spot. He is taking a stand in the wrong spot, six handed. Gets in Jack 10 against Jax. Ari is dominating him. 23.7 million chip pot. And Danny is not happy. What a blow up by Danny. He was in decent shape. And he is all but dead here. Oh, he turns an open ender. Wow. No, does not hit it. That would have been pretty sick. Get their blow up by Danny. Yeah, you just can't have these blow ups with so much money in the line at a final table. That's just a lack of experience, uh, I would guess. Uh, compared to Ari, who uh, has pocket jacks, but is also very experienced. And a uh, huge gift for Ari as he chips up to over 32 million. He takes back over the chip lead once again. Igor with pocket eights. And an all in for 20 bigs. A big shove. After. Surviving two pair versus the nut straight. So 20 bigs for Igor. He's going to jam. And look at this. Oh. Ari with ace queen. And he has a spot for about a quarter of his chips here. I don't see Ari folding. We don't see Ari folding. When he hears the 8 million, he's. It is unlikely for Ari to be dominated here. It's unlikely that Igor would open jam 20 bigs with ace king. He probably wants to induce with that hand. Uh, he's probably yeah. yeah exactly so yeah, he's yeah, probably yeah. only shoving 
small pairs and worse aces. Yeah. Or the same hand. And so the question is, if you're shove if you're uh, flipping most of the time, do you want to flip here if you're Ari? That's the question. Right, about 25, 28 percent of his chips. That never works. <laughs> I always say, only if I win. <laughs> In cash games, I tell players, I will always show if you pay me the right price. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, whether I'm bluffing or have it, if they fold... If you want to pay me X percentage of the pot, I'll be happy to show. <laughs> and Ari is going to make the call with ace queen here against pocket eights. We have a flip. Igor, the slight favorite, 55, 45, 16 and a half million chips in the pot. Ace on the flop right away. Ari is going to bust Igor Zector in fifth place. Congratulations to Igor with a. Nice payout of about $68,000, and all five, four players remaining are uh, guaranteed 90 k now. So Igor out in fifth place. Nice run. He came Pretty in as the shortest stack. Short stack. Came in with Can't seven so big much. blinds. Like made a really nice run to uh, become one of the middling stacks, and then ends up in fifth place for 68 k All four players guaranteed 90. They're playing for 315 k And uh, Ari Engel with over 42 million chips now is the significant chip leader, the heavy favorite to win the Mega Millions. Heavy favorite. But like Jack-7 off, 10-6 off. Jack-7 off, I'm defending. I'm defending. Yeah, I just seven. don't love that situation. Queen-5 off. Like, these are hands that seem decent to defend, but don't play really well post-flop. Yeah, but when you start getting shorthanded in, in a tournament like this, you're kind of forced. You get forced to, to defend these hands. You don't have to be too aggressive. You could just you're also he's in position. I agree. Obviously he's with an aggressive I agree player. with you, but you need hands that are gonna play well enough post flop that you can actually win the pot. If not, you're just calling and, and losing the hand like a large percentage of the time. So I'd rather turn one of those hands to a bluff. once in a while into my three bet bluff range. If not, like you're not gonna have enough three bet bluffs, right? That's fair. So if I'm gonna have some sort of hand I'm gonna three bet and snap full to four to a four bet, I'm gonna pick some of those hands. Maybe Queen Deuce goes in there as well. Something like that. A, a weak queen. Oh, oh. What was a four the gap jack? Something like that. Yeah. So it looks like it was a, a raise from Ari on the button, and David flatted the small blind with a six off, and then Pat defends ten eight off. In the big line, and now Pat's going to lead the flop with the best hand. Interesting lead. Very, very interesting. Pre flop lead. was very interesting as well. Uh, Surprise David called in the small blind. Raise. There we go. That's going to take it. I don't think I Pat's. Don't Pat's not. Oh, wow. we got an all in from Pat. Look at Pat. A three bet all in. Snap all in. He didn't even think about it. This guy is a monster. Don't, don't mess with wow, him. Wow, that was insane. Don't mess with that guy. That was insane. Pat Lyons, 50, uh, 500K rather, uh, big blind. Pat has about 20 million. Yes. Not hard is going to screw me up, too. I got a nine. I don't Yeah, 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 no, I know, I know. I know, I know that was sharing, sharing curve. Raise 1.25. David's going to raise it up here with... hand that we don't know yet. Blank. Pat has ace-10. It's, it's a blank blank. I like the ace-10. It seems good. Race. Race. And a three bet from Pat with ace-10, which is totally fine in this spot. Cut off button. I prefer to three bet it. Yeah. Probably three bet folding, though. Right. David has deuce Quite. four. It's a really big three bet. That's look at look at this. Five million from Pat, and Ari has ace-king. Yeah, this... 
This seems like a committing size for a three bet. Like, why are you betting? You're betting four, four x. x. Four it's, x. Just make it two point nine. Yeah, yeah. You literally in a final table like this, your th your sizings need to be smaller. Because there's so much fold equity with so much yeah, money. Yeah, with ICM in play, your 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 folds are gonna be huge. You don't need to price. You don't need to size People up. People aren't peeling that often. No, not at all. Like now, look at look at the spot he's gonna be put in. And Pat, you can fold here. You still have thirty bigs left. Fold. Fifteen million. It's a lot of chips. Don't do it, man. Million, you can last for a few hours with 15 million. Ace 10 All off. All in. And Pat does stick it in. Ace 10 versus Ace King. And uh, we have a 41 million chip pot. And yeah. uh, this tournament is looking good for Ari right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take the 10, 10 to 1 with, yeah, with Brando over three. there. One time. One time. Anybody, want the, anybody want the action? <laughs> and that's going to do it. Yeah. World famous Flying Pat Lions eliminated in fourth place here at the Mega Millions final table. He wins $90,000. Nice run by Pat. Uh, sorry about Brandon. Spoiler alert. He Congrats. is not welcome here again. Flat call. For sure raise. I'm guessing around 3x. Uh, two pair for Min. We have a gutter and a backdoor straight draw for Ari. Expect a, a very small C bet here. Probably a down bet. Like 1.2, probably 1.2 mil or so. Pretty close. 1.27. Quick call. Expect it to probably go check, check. Oh, no, no. Just kidding. Min's going to lead here. Two and a half million. This is interesting as to how Ari takes it. He could raise. I don't think he's going to call, but he c it's possible. I just think her hand's kind of face up as to just top pair. Oh, no, looks like he's going to call. Interesting. Going for three Double leads. streets with top pair. Weak kicker. What is? I, I'm, I'm confused on what she's trying to get called by. I mean, ace high is it? Interesting. The check call fl lead flop turn play. Yeah, I I think the check 
call is good. I don't hate the lead, but you kind of put your hand face up. I don't think you check call lead too many queens. And I don't think you should really be betting river here for value. I think Ari sniffed this out. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, well, Ari for sure isn't going to put a raise on anymore. He gave off too much. So he's thinking about a call or fold. I think this is a fold for Ari. He blocks too much of what sh he wants her to have. Like, what is he expecting her to take this line with? Ten jack, uh, like ten jack, with like a spade, which he blocks. Ace ten, which she just wouldn't do. Nine ten, I guess, but it just doesn't make sense. Where is the trophy, the lion? It's beautiful. Where will the lion sleep tonight? That's a good question. Whose bedroom, Ari, David, or Min? You're, you're counting out David or what? I said Ari, David, or Min. Oh, I didn't. Okay. It kind of, it kind of, it kind of like slid through. If you were the lion, whose bedroom would you want to sleep in? My own, of course. It's not an option, right? It's not an option. I'm gonna. I'm still sticking with Ari. I got 25 bucks on Ari. The other two weren't in my group, so I gotta. I gotta pick the guy that I, that's gonna make me money. I gotta get home, guys. I don't want to be stuck in L.A. Gutter here for Ari. I like this flop for Ari. This is this is the kind of flop for Ari that will bring action. He's the player to do it. He will. I have faith. Creative minds do creative things. I don't, I wouldn't hate a defend in men's spot. Small bit. You can defend, pick up some outs, pick up a pick up a pair. A diamond's a nice card. Eight, nine. Wow, Min is calling with the best King. hand. Interesting. The turn is an ace, and this is a good card for Ari to rep now. And I just don't see how Min can win this hand. Yeah, I see a check fold. I would I would have preferred an eight. An eight of diamonds would have been a sweet card. I look I look for really actiony cards. Not a not a offsuit ace. Doesn't bring enough action. Big open from, oh no, it's 600 big, that's right. So two and a half X from David with King Jack. Three bet, oh, Queen Deuce. 
They're just folding those these days. Are you with pocket tens in the big blind? This is a big hand. We're for sure going to see a three bet, guys. No question. The sizing. I'm guessing on the s close to five mil. I'm going to guess 4.8. 600. That wasn't even a real number that you just said. 4.8 4. million. 4860. Uh, they, they can't do that. You're right. Okay, right. 4825. I can't do it. Well, no? I guess. Uh, yeah, the 25s are still in play. So. 4.8. I think you nailed it's it. It's 4.8, right? Just yeah. call me a professional. You Just call it. me a professional. You nailed it. God, I'm good. Oh, an all in and Damn, a snap. He snapped. Wow, up. David just potentially put it off. With David is four bet wow. like no other today. David just jams it in with King Jack. Hold. Off. Come on, Ari. Win me 25. Yeah. One step closer to 25 bucks. Wow. Woo. David Marshall is our third place finisher. Congrats to David. He takes home 116,000. That was kind of a punt there. You had about 50 big blinds, and uh, that's just what happens when you're aggressive. You get players to to make plays. Big mistakes. Yeah, he four bet earlier like with sixes and hell against ace king. This time, he uh, jams in king jack off against Ari's tens. Ari snaps it off. Ari really hasn't been playing as aggressive as his image may seem, and Ari went. So, according to Hendenbob, Ari Engel has 25 first place finishes in his career in tournaments. He has seven second place finishes. He's 25 and seven heads up in tournaments. That is in 25 incredible. and seven. 25 and seven. 25 first places, seven second places. 25 and seven. That means he's winning about 77 percent. That's incredible. Of his heads-up matches in tournaments. Good luck to and, Min. <laughs> and, and as far as we know, this is the first tournament heads-up for Min. Well, look at this hand. She she finds a way to outflop him for sure. I don't know if I have found anybody with that good of a record heads-up, 25 and 7. That's, a, that's impressive. I'll tell you right now, that is... Like, if you've won 55 impressive. to 60% of your heads-up matches, you're doing something really Fantastic. well. Fantastic. Amazing. But 77%? Winning wow. ha winning 50% of your heads up matches in a, in a tournament is good. <coughs> Mr. EZ, how you doing, man? That's my buddy. Theo, thanks for the donation earlier. Appreciate it, Theo, as always. One way to win heads up is to have the best hands. Have the goods. That's and, the easiest way. And Min has the best hand right now. Ari's going to make the call. He's drawing to a seven. Or ace. An no, ace. No. He's losing. And I see a bet. And whether or not we get a hero call, I don't think so. But it's possible. I just think he blocks too much. Five million into ten million from Min.
I think we're going to get a fold, guys. I was wrong. We and Ari call. makes the incorrect hero call, sees the bad news, and Min takes on Nice Pot. And early on in this heads-up match, she has made some headway, and she is chipping up 20 million chip pot, and we're now at 72 to 47. Ari still with a significant lead, though, but uh, Min now with over 70 big blinds. That was for sure. Min with eight nine of spades on the button here. Top pair here for Ari. Absolutely nothing for Min. Min going for it here. Two million on the flop, two million on the turn. So she's going to uh, be barreling the same size flop and turn on bluffs, it looks like. And are you going nowhere with top pair? Out of position. And it's interesting because Ari really hasn't caught Min bluffing yet. Every time he thinks she might be, she's had it. And look at this, Ari's going to check raise unconventional with top pair here. Interesting. I guess he's just trying to protect against all draws. And is going to like check, he's going to check, check ba he's gonna just check river, yeah. He's getting value from draws and stopping hands like straights from uh, valuing on rivers. I don't hate it. It's just interesting if he gets check raised. Or not check raised, three bet. That's, I just... <laughs> I just noticed that. Three letters each. Crazy. Not often you get uh, three letters in your name and they're both playing heads up. Ari made the wrong sizing there. Forgot the blinds were 600k, so he's forced for a min raise. To 1.2, and Min's going to defend with 6.5. Gutter for Ari. Yeah, it's okay. He, this is a good flop for Ari. He's going to see bet here and take it down. Easy see bet. No, what is she doing? Oh my god, she's floating with six high. What is going on here? And she turns a gutter and a six high flush draw. Ari with a better gutter and a better flush draw. Min's going to need to hit an offsuit for 
five or six to win this hand. I think this is a really good turn card for Ari just to barrel. He has a blocker to a straight. He has a blocker to flush. He's got a double gutter now, actually. Yeah, he has double gutted, flush draw, over card. He puts a lot of pressure on a hand like a 10. Even a jack has, has, has a, it's a call, but it's not like an easy river call still. So I think he could just continue to barrel, turn and river, and pick up a lot of chips. This is why you don't float out of position with six high. You pick up what looks like extra equity, and now you're, you're like in a weird drawing, spot. Yeah, you're like drunk dead. <laughs> Close to. And she's just going to call out of position for 5 million with 6 yeah, high. This is I mean, gross. unless you're planning on bluffing a ton of rivers, this is not profitable. And the 6 comes the river, and somehow she makes the best hand. Wow. Yeah, she she hits the offsuit 6, and now it's up to Ari to see. He hasn't really gone for it yet on the river tonight. Please and bet. Please. Is, is he going to go for it here? A bet's going to work. It's going to work, Ari. Just bet. And he gives up again. Ari just not going for it today. And Min is going to chip up, and he can't believe wow. the hand that he just saw. Five, six off makes wow. no sense. When, when bank, I if, think a if, large sizing is If correct. you go crazy, like if you bet 25 million in the river and just bomb it. What was pot? And, and, and thir uh, pot was 20-something. Or maybe like a little under 20. It, if you just bomb it, she had 38 million left. She can like, hero call kind of light. If you, yes, but You're if you really basically small. put her tournament on the line, what is she going to do? We don't know yet. And that's what the question becomes. So I understand why he gave up, but uh, he could have went for it. Or we have a, a big hand brewing here. Ari raises the button with ace five of clubs to 1.7, and Min wakes up with pocket queens in the big blind. Let's see where the three bet is now. Okay, she's still three betting small. Yeah, it's the same exact sizing as before. Yeah, 1.7 I mean, to 3.6. At least she's consistent. Yeah, and now Ari has two options, call or four bet. I think but, call. But call, you're in position, you have a suited hand, plays well post flop, and Min hasn't really three bet too light yet. Uh, especially heads up. This hand just plays way, way too well post flop in position that I think you want to call. And he is going to yeah. call. Good decision. Seven point four million in the pot. <laughs> and look at this flop: five, five, three Sick. trips for Ari Engel, and this could be the end of the tournament. It looks like she's betting big. Wow. Five million. If Ari were to put in a raise here, it could be over. Or will he slow play it? It is a dry board. I expect a call. Yeah, it's more optimal to call in general, but if you think that she has mostly over pairs when she bets this sizing on the flop, then a raise can get it in quicker. You don't want a scare card to come. That's true, but... You kind of put her in defense mode when you raise. And I think this specific opponent is just going to barrel all over all over pairs. And if she's three betting it, it's probably a good size over pair. So see, like a card like this, she's just going to continue to barrel. Turn is a nine of diamonds. This is a yeah. good turn card yeah, she for barrels. Ari. She just, she just quickly just throws in some chips. But another wow. small Tiny. bet. Five million in the flop, but only five million in the turn. Interesting, though, this yeah. is balanced because earlier she bluffed 2 million on the flop, 2 million on the turn. So she's sticking with her consistent bet sizing, which obviously is much smaller in percentage of the pot uh, on the turn than it is on the flop. So 5 million into 17, super small. And again, Ari with a couple yeah. of options here. How Ari plays this is uh, interesting. Like, this is a, an exploitative spot. I, I wouldn't. 
hate a raise to ten or eleven million. Yeah, you have to. River. You have to raise really small. That's that's no, kind really of the, small. That's because, kind of the problem. But she's never folding a pair if you raise. Yeah, that's what he's going. And eleven million he's would be it, he's really good. It eleven. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good. She could spaz and just because ship it. right, and also she's just not going to fold. She might not even fold ace high in this spot. Uh, it's just a brutal spot for men. 11.5. I, I like it. Small raise. If you notice, she uh, she she, she kind of gives off a tell with how quickly she calls. She doesn't put any thought. It's not like she has ace high. She's literally just like, how much is it? How much do I have to pay? I have an over pair. I'm calling you either way. Right. Over just like, I wonder if ace high is good here. She doesn't really put too much thought, and I think that's kind of a kind of a flaw in her game. A great run out for Ari, and uh, Min has just under 25 million back. And look at this, now she's gonna bet. Oh wow. A small, five million into 40 million from Min. Oh wow. Yeah. A defensive bet. And I mean, I, she should be bet folding, but whether or not she does, that's a whole other story. Yeah, I mean, five million to 40 million just isn't Accomplishing anything other than inducing a shove from Ari here and uh, also just letting Ari know what type of hand she has. Yeah. Um, she put in $5 million on all three streets, and Ari has no decision but to shove here. And then Min, if she can't make the fold, the tournament will be over, and Ari Engel will be the Mega Millions champion for $315,000. Oh, and he raised to a non-all-in amount and then she says all in. And now he has not snapped yet, but it's barely any more. He made it 17 million or 16 million, and, and she's all in for 20 million. So I'm surprised he didn't just go all in. I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted at her shove. I don't, I don't know what to think. Yeah, but this is interesting that he just raised to 16 million. She only has 20. Why not just shove all in here? Yeah. If you got it, you got it. I mean, his play's fine. Like, the raise is fine. He's tr getting the shove is probably better just because you're going to get the same result. But, like, why is she shoving? And there it is. All in on a call. And the tournament is over. Ari Engel is your Mega Millions champion for $315,000. $1,000. Ari Engel improving to 26 and 7 in his career in tournament heads up matches. His 26th tournament title. A big one here at the bike. Congrats to Min for an amazing run. Uh, presumably her biggest career tournament score. She won a lot. You came into the final table. I think you were second in chips, and I don't think you really fell at the top two pretty much all day long. What was your strategy coming in, and, and it seemed like you executed pretty well. So it's like, right? I'm sorry, honey. Um, I ran really well. Um, probably with like two or three tables left, I got an ace five suited against ace king and hit a five. Uh, all in pre flop, and um, at the final table, I hit a lot of uh, you know, maybe not coolers, but cooler ish kind of situations, and things were really good for me. And just kind of it looked better than it was. Um, and like so many times in this spot, I end up getting eighth or sixth or fifth, you know. So, uh, yeah, no, it's great when it works out. Yeah, um, you bought in directly on day two for this. Uh, tell me why you did it, why you thought it was such a good deal for a player like you, and and how you thought it panned out for you? Um, yeah, yeah. People, people told me I was a little bit crazy because uh, I was on the East Coast and uh, flew out here. My luggage actually didn't even make it. Um, <laughs> I barely made the flight, but um, and I've done this a couple of other times and like busted. I don't know if it was here because maybe they didn't have late entry. I busted like super quick after flying cross country for. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, no, obviously this worked out great and um, yeah. Yeah.
I know that you're the ultimate poker grinder, so I'm sure you have some. You have a flight tonight. I'm sure to go to play another tournament. What do you got coming up next? Um, well, uh, there's a Jewish holiday starting tomorrow night, sure. so I do have a flight in a few hours. But I'm going to Florida to my parents um, for that, and then uh, there's a seminal series there, so I'll already be there and ready to go. Nice. Uh, in addition to winning this, because you were the last day two buy-in player left, you get a pre-roll to the next Mega Millions day two. Uh, how good do you run? <laughs> I know, I know, that was sick. Uh, I came in today and Mo said that. I was like, sweet, that's an uh, added incentive. And uh, I thought, you know, it's like the kind of situation where if I don't win, maybe it'll be a little bit of a bonus if I get like fourth, let's say, and get sure. and, and win that. Um, but yeah, as it turned out, I had a win because she, uh, she was in there too. Yeah. yeah. Right, Thanks a lot. Good job. Thank you.